guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, June's Path. So y'all, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Shandy, we're up, and let's go. Alright, set the alarm. Okay, alright. Stepping back into the bookstore, I can't help but notice the scent of alcohol tickling, sticking to, uh, tickling my nose. It's not a smell I would usually associate with a place like this, but when I look at the counter, I see a clerk wiping up the cloth. Ah, so that's it. The air inside is dry and a little dusty. The sun's rays entering through the window illuminate and reveal the particles of dust floating on the air. For some reason, my nose starts to itch a little bit. Huh, they have a pretty good selection over here. <clears throat> Just walked over to a pile of books and started browsing them. While I fully expected him to be interested in the manga, in the manga section, he actually went for the real books. Huh. I know it's, uh, I know it's kind of mean... I know it's kind of mean to think something like this, but up until now, I saw it with my own eyes. I had a hard time believing that June actually read real books. I really am a sucky friend, huh? What kind of books are you looking at over here? He was casually flipping the pages of a very big book as if it were nothing. This one is a fantasy book. I have been interested in reading for a while, but I never, I never knew if it would be a good fit. Oh, why not? June puts it back on the shelf and picks up another one. I hear that the story is very complicated and political. I'm afraid I'd have a hard time following it. I tend to prefer simpler books, high fantasy and the likes. When things get too detailed, I tend to lose myself in the plot. That's a surprisingly valid point coming from you. June sets the books down and looks up at me in annoyance. Why surprisingly? I mean that I honestly didn't expect you to have trouble with those books. I really thought you'd blaze through them no problem. Oh, is that so? S safe. I really know. I really have to watch what the hell I say. I don't want to end up angering him by accident. Though, I think the main problem is the skewed opinion I have of him, isn't it? Hmm. I don't see the book. I don't see the book I'm looking for. Maybe they'll have a copy of it at the back of the store. It's also a new release of a pretty popular book, so they might have run out too. That would suck. Hope it's not the case. June walks to the clerk that was wiping the counter just a little while ago. Excuse me? The clerk, a lynx, is wearing a pair of earbuds. He notices June approaching and takes them off. Yes? Uh, how can I help you? Do you still have any copies of the book The Red Keep that was released last week? Hmm. That well, that's the one written by that foreign guy. What was his name again? Paul White? June nods. Hang on just a second. Let me check the system. The Link starts typing something on his computer. Looks like we have one last copy left. Yay, I'll take it! But it's at our other store, on the other side of town. <laughs> no way! How far is it to the other store? You'd have to take at least three different trains and a bus. No way! June's shoulders immediately sag, his whole mood deflating. Why does this sort of thing always happen to me? Excuse me, is there any way you could have this book shipped to this store? We live close by, so going, the other, going to the other one would be incredibly inconvenient. I decided to intervene to look for a way to have this dealt with. It stands to reason that they'd be willing to sell the book and so could have it shipped, so could have it shipped right? The awkward, look, oh, Lynx, excuse me, the awkward look on the Lynx's face tells me otherwise. Oh, excuse me. Well... He scratched the back of his neck. It's true that we could, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Our store charges a big fee on shipping. It'd be way cheaper for you to just to go there yourself. How much is it with the shipping? Let's see, 3,625 yen with shipping. What? That's double the price of the book by itself. I don't have that much left. We'll take it. Please have it ordered. Uh, we, when can we pick it up? I immediately pull out my wallet and grab a couple bills inside. Yuichi said, what are you doing? I'm buying the book for you, of course. What does it look like I'm doing? But I can't have you doing that for me. This guy can be so stubborn at the most annoying moments. One second, y'all. Give me one moment. There we go. All right, y'all. I'm back. Okay. Let's see. Alrighty. I already know how he is trying to convince me to let him to let me give him as a. To let me give this as a gift would be a long and frankly annoying process. In this case, how about I go with this? Don't misunderstand, I'm not doing this for you. Eh? You're not? I'm going to be spending the rest of the day with you, and I know you're going to be sulking if you don't get this book. Dealing with that would be annoying, so this is as much for my own good as anything else. There, how about this? June stands there completely shocked, his mouth opened wide. Well, that's kind of cold. This is none of your business. Jeez, I feel like an asshole for saying something like that. He's probably going to be mad at me because of because of it, right? If he at least accepts the book, then I'm going to be fine with it. I understand. I'll accept it then. You will? 
You mean that actually worked? Holy shit, I didn't expect it to work. All right, here's the money then. Uh, when can we come back to get it? The clerk takes a while to respond as he has to be snapped out of his own daze. He takes the money from my hand and deposits it in the register. He then, type, he then types a few things on his computer. All right, I've placed the order. They're going to send the book over here. You can come back to get it at the end of the business day, day or tomorrow morning if you'd like. We're open from 8 to 11, 11 a.m. on Sundays. I nod and thank him for his assistance, turning back around to face June. I wonder if he's mad at me for what I said. Do you want to buy anything else? I ended up buying the book for you, so I suppose you still have some leftover money to spend. June shakes his head sideways. No thanks. I think I'll use the money at the park. Or is there anything else you'd like to you'd like me to buy for you? I make a dismissive gesture with my hand. Don't worry about it. I don't usually spend spend much money, so I have quite a bit saved up. If there's anything I want, I want I can buy it for myself, no problem. I see. June looks down at the ground. Well, if there's nothing else you want to check out here, then how about we go someplace else? Didn't we come here to pass some time in the first place? Why are you acting as if you don't want to check don't want to check anything now? June nods. We walk around the streets for a few more minutes, browsing the shops on the windows and checking out a couple of shops. But June remains silent the whole time. He's definitely mad at me for what I said in the bookstore, isn't he? Hey, Junkun, are you alright? Hmm. Yeah, he's got that glassy-eyed look. Instead of giving me an actual answer, June just makes a random noise. You're mad at me for what I said in the bookstore, aren't you? I'm sorry, I guess I really was out of line. Now I play the part of a repentant friend who was sorry for having been an ass and everything should be okay. Instead of accepting my apology, June merely sighs as if this were somehow some sort of annoyance to him. You don't have to do this, Yuichi-san. Huh? What are you talking about? I've been with you almost every day since I met you. By this point, I already know you're not the kind of person who'd say something like that. You were just acting like I was annoying so you'd take, so I'd take the gift. That's... how did you even know that? Oh, please, you might be brash and snide at times, but, you've ne you're, never, but you're never plain rude. You're still one of the most kind-hearted people I know. Huh? Shit, had to look away just now. How can he say something like that without being even a little bit embarrassed? My chest feels tight. What is this? You alright, Yuichi-san? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, this won't do. I was so distracted that I ended up making him worry. Still, June just feels a little different today. Or is it because I've never really paid attention before? He's been much more perceptive than usual. I guess I got caught with that one, huh? Just out of curiosity, why did you accept the book if you knew what I was doing? Any normal person would assume that I'd get mad after being talked to like that, so you had to have... You had to have thought of that when you did what you did. If you were willing to have me have me get mad at you just for the sake of making me accept a gift, then if you were willing to go for that farther, I've just felt like I had to accept it. Like always, I cannot follow his thought process at all. Most of the time, he acts like he doesn't put any thought into what he said, what he does. Hell, not long ago, he admitted to winging our meeting after telling me he had already planned the whole thing out. It's really hard to keep up with his pace sometimes. Heh, <laughs> I guess this means I've been defeated. Was I ever thinking it? No, not at all. You'll, you definitely managed to figure out my whole plan perfectly. I'm honestly surprised with how much you know me. Well, of course. I'm well aware that I'm just a newcomer at your guys' group. You've all been very kind to include me in most of your meetings and hangouts, but the reality is that I'm not part, yet part of the group dynamic. It's easier for me to get left out of the conversations because I just don't know enough about you guys to participate. So whenever that happens, I just make sure to observe you all to try and learn more about you. Wow, I didn't know you had given it this much thought. Now that I think of it, I guess June is kind of similar to Tsuichi in a few aspects. Uh, the both of them are the type of people who all, who try to always be considerate. Right. Drink some water, y'all. Mm. Ah, delicious. Delicious water. I always thought June was acting very carefree around us, but it could be that he was actually could be that he was actually keeping an eye on us and watching our pace. Ugh, thinking about this sort of stuff is confusing. It makes my head hurt. By the way, if you knew what I was doing, why did you get so silent? I spent the past half hour worrying about you being mad at me. Hmm, that's... June looks away. Still, I can tell from the tip of his ears that he's blushing. I've never really had anyone go to such lengths to do something nice for me, so I felt a little awkward. I've actually been thinking of a way that I could reciprocate the gesture since we left the bookstore. Just like that, just like I thought. June really is a good person. He's so adorable when he's like this. I just feel like I can't leave him alone. For some reason, I really have fun f fussing over him and taking care of him. How about we go get some crepes? Some crepes? I was about to say crepes. Crepes. It'll be my treat. Ah, I'll pass. I ate too many sweets at the cafe. Is that so? You look fine to me. It's not like I'm feeling bad or anything. My stomach just feels a little bit bloated. Hmm. His shirt does look a bit tighter than usual. Which reminds me. Hey, June, isn't it a little too hot outside today for you to be wearing a long sleeve shirt? Come to think of it, I've only ever seen you wearing long sleeves. Ah, that's... I just feel more comfortable with these. 
I don't really like my having my arms uncovered, that's all. But you're sweating. Am I? I reach out and tug at his belly area. Sure enough, his shirt is wet. Well, you, would you say, please don't do this all of a sudden. What? I just pinched your shirt. I didn't touch you or anything. It's not the touching I mind. Just, you just really surprised me. I thought you were going to lift up my shirt. Why would I do that? You have some crazy ideas, June. Uh, well, it's not like I mind. It's this uniqueness of his that makes it fun to hang out with him anyway. Hmm, I still don't like how much you're sweating. Maybe we could go someplace to have cold drinks, preferably one that's air-conditioned. Ah, I, would, I wouldn't say no to that. Bingo. Oh, bingo. This means he wanted to do that, but he didn't, but he didn't want to ask. For someone so random, you sure can be easy to read sometimes. Luckily enough, there's an ice cream shop nearby. I used to come here sometimes, especially in the summer. Most of the time, it was when I was hanging out with Shuichi and Saya. Boy, that was a while ago. I didn't even know Kei come back then. Feel free to get whatever you want. It's my treat. What? No, I can't accept that. Come on, pretty please. I'm the one who insisted on coming over, so at least let me treat you. I feel like you end up treating me a lot. That's because I worry about you. I think this is a sign that you're my friend. Somehow, I don't remember ever seeing you treat anyone else, though. Jeez, he's still trying to squirm his way out of it. All my other friends have more money than I do. Why should I treat them? I suppose that's true in a sense. But even though you guys have more money than I do, I still want to treat you all. I just don't have the money to. I give him a pat on the back. There, there. Don't worry so much about it. If you really want to please me, then just take my offer and let me treat you, okay? I even make sure to wink at him as I say this. I pile on the encouragement to make him accept it. Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever been this adamant about wanting to take care of someone. Not even my brother. Aki, I'm so sorry. Big Bro promises he'll do something nice for you when he comes home. I guess I'll take you up on your offer, then. Do you mind if I have a milkshake? Of course not. I told you to have whatever you'd like. In the end, June and I both ordered milkshakes. He got a strawberry shake and I got a vanilla shake. And to be honest, the milkshake here isn't as good as I remembered. But June... What? This is amazing! I only ever had milkshakes a couple times before and they were all from super cheap burger joints. This one is so much better than them. And oh, they actually put some frosting on top of it and they even added sprinkles and... I'm honestly having trouble keeping up with him because of how fast he's talking. I guess giving a sugary drink to an already hyperactive person probably wasn't the best idea in the world in hindsight. Hey, June, by the way, do you have any idea what you, what you want to do at the amusement park? I know, I know. How about we go on the roller coaster, or, or the drop tower? I hear they even have a haunted house. Oh, excuse me, not so subtle attempt to change the subject. Heh. <laughs> Let's see if it pays off. Um, those are perfectly acceptable ideas, I guess. And they don't seem to have been well received. What's wrong? You don't like them? Well, it's not that I don't really like them. Sorry, I'm just not really good at dealing with stuff that makes your heart race. I know, Adrenaline Junkie. Aw, but those are the best rides. You can still go, I'd just rather not go with. Ah, shit. It doesn't mean to make him feel bad. No, 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 don't worry about it, really. I don't really need to, I don't really need to go on those. What sort of attractions do you want to visit? Oh, well, I was thinking of going on stuff like the carousel or the bumper cars. You know, tamer stuff. I like to think of those as the boring stuff, but I suppose different people have different tastes. Sure, we can go on those, no problem. Thank you, Yuichi san You're being really nice to me. Well, I'm nice to everyone. June chuckles, taking another sip from his milkshake. True, but you're usually also snarky or sarcastic with people while you're helping them. I don't recall you ever doing that to me. Save it. I think I did save it. I'll save it again just in case. Huh, that's actually true. If I've ever been snarky to June, I don't really remember it. I wonder why that is. I hadn't really thought about that before. Huh. Maybe I should start treating you like that so no one else can accuse me of playing favorites? I say so with a devious smile on my face. No, there's no need. I prefer it like this. Heh. <laughs> Alright then, I'll continue to play favorites with you. Okay. Heh. <laughs> He's so easy to please. By the way, what time is it right now? I don't want us to be too late to the amusement park. Hold on, let me check. It's almost 3pm. Are you ready to head out to the park? He nods excitedly. Alright, gotta make sure to pay for our tab before we leave. We were happy to find out that the park was actually holding a flash sale for their tickets and we both managed to get in with half price. Oh, we would be happy about it, but... Uh, you took June to a public area, you idiot. Why would you do this? June is moping around. How could you not have known that you need to buy tickets to go on the rides? I thought you really had to pay for the entrance and that was it! So in the end, he only saved up enough money to pay for the entrance and none to actually go on any rides. And because I don't need... And because I don't tend to walk with much money to begin with, all the extra money I brought was used... All the extra money I brought was used to buy the milkshakes. So between the two of us, considering how much money we saved on the entrance and the leftover money June still had from the cafe, we were able to buy eight tickets. Seven of those were bought by me. 
All right, this means we can go on four rides together. Here, take these three tickets. I handed my extra ticket so we'll both have an equal number. No, I can't accept it. You're the one who bought... What the hell? I would use these for you if you were not... I would use... I you I... What the hell would I use these for if you're not going to be with me on the rides, dumbass? Just take the damn tickets. Oh, yes. It seems that June responds well to tough love. I'll make sure to remember that. Honestly, if you had done some proper research beforehand, we could be going on a lot more rides. Why are you criticizing me about it? If it weren't the flash sale, you'd have only been able to buy your four tickets anyway. And you would have been able to buy zero. See how well that would have worked out? Uh... And he's moping around again. Hmm. Maybe we should dial back on the tough love back, tough love a little bit. All right, I guess this means we have to pick and choose what rides we go on. For excluding the ones you don't like, it doesn't really leave us with many choices. And because the carnival game stalls only accept money instead of tickets, we can't go on those. Yuichi Sen, how about you decide what rides we go on? Huh? Me? Why me? Well. June starts fidgeting in a spot, looking away from me for a while. I feel bad about not bringing extra money than having you buy tickets for me, so I want you to at least choose the ones you would have the most fun on. Oh, is that so? Does that mean we can go on all the go on the roller coaster? June immediately freezes up at the mention of it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.